What is your name? And what's your name? Come. Valdon. Tell them Valdon. And what you doing, Valdon? I think we just put in the this cobalt in this. All right. So you're doing some mechanic then. All right, nice too bad. Where you start on wood? Oh, you have to get out of your next one. Right? No, you got it. All right, this is the WL head being dismantled here. The engine is the bottom half, pistons inside already. We're going to remove valves, the grind valves. Back to that in a while. All right, okay. That is the camshaft covers. The, the, the camshaft bearing cover. Cover. Yeah. Being removed. Right. Um, so you have, been, you have no notice. They are marked. Yeah, they are marked. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, so on. Right, right yeah, yeah, you see that. Right. I'm just wiping out the oil and then. Yeah. So you see it start from yeah, one year one. It start with one to dash five. Right, and then it go to one, one two, three, three, and then finally four. Right, and when you are taking out this, um, what you don't want when you're going back up, you don't want to mix the head up. The um, cap, a different way. You always go back to that spot. If um, you have a doubt and you see the mark, all you have to do is you mark it. You can you use it. a hacksaw blade? A or a punch or anything you have close by yeah. and always check from what direction you're marking it so you wouldn't get tired yeah always use the front as the starting point Well, we'll get back to you when all the caps are out. Okay, we're going mechanic dog reach, taking out the caps. This is the first one. Number two, three. Four and five. And the, the camshaft is off. Right. That's not right. You could see the tappets here. Yeah, this. This is the um. The tappets, the cam, the camshaft rule on the tappets. Yeah, it rule on this bridge here. This, this is a bridge weight and. And that in turn push the valves. Right. So I'd be taking out all. However many valves there, they are the same amount. This one there are 12 valves. Two um, exhaust. One intake. Right. right. It's a little nasty work because of the um the oil. The type of oil that we use that um I will not be using again in this engine. These are, are oil on somebody's recommendation. Right um, but it did not work well. Yeah, this oil is that. It seems like they take the slush from the bottom of the tank and make this oil. This oil is damage your engine. Because it, um, when it's cool, it can't. Here we have the clip removal tool. Yeah, it has to be right. I'm going to move this one. I guess this one goes on. Um, what is that? It? It's always good to invest. And some tool, you know, it have other ways you could take it out, right? Um, people use, but I use this because uh, this helps me a lot, right? Um, if you look at what they do here, it hold the um, it the hold clips. the cap, 
and also hold the clip. Yeah, I'd hold the cap, I'd hold the clip so the clips would not lose. Magnet inside, magnet inside is a inside very it. strong magnet. Yeah, so it, what they do is it, it hold the um the clip them so it wouldn't. You know, sometimes when you're tapping out these things, they just happen to um, fly away. But if you look at it, right? Well, they're look, looking so pretty again in the oil. Right? You see um what they do? So it hold the clip. It take off um taking off the valve. A little um, thing there, but you just want to show you how to. You could use um, some of them use a socket, which I am um, used to. But since I buy this tool here, it's working real good. You could always use the same tool as what I do in here to install it back. Well, we're gonna see that later, though. Right, so that will be on the next um, section when we. So that made a magnet inside, so you know you have to take it out. I'm not very glad you hit it, but you can see I am just getting, and I'm getting all of them back. So you show sure that you lost no, um, no clip because it would not fly this. Yeah, the magnet strong. Yeah, the magnet strong. Right. Oh, you better that way. Right. The magnet is so you sure? Not right. no. So just show them a right yeah. top thing there. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, what you do? Um, shut down there for the while and then start yeah. back when we finish. Yeah, well, go ahead with this one. Just showing you how you know. Uh, you rest it here. And if you look inside, yeah, see why the hole is so it's not it, 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 this year when you tap it now the magnet just pull it up inside. And if you have a different size valve, you yeah. have a different yeah, it, it go by the size. sizes. Yeah. So you could use Yeah, you could use this size for, for a smaller valve. valve. Right? This section here is when you install in the valve, you're using it on this here. And yes, and this so this is where you're going to install the valve. But that will be when we install in the valve, we will let you um, see how it goes. So for now we got just um Continue with this and we'll get back to you. Right. That's not. Now you go get Yeah, here removal of the valve seal. You see? This is a special pliers. I will say sometime, you know, when you're doing a mechanic, it's always good to buy the little special tool that could help you. but. You know, you, you, you could use any other um, tool, any pliers or some other ways uh, taking out the seal. I just but this, try this because it makes my work easier. No, you see, in installing to it easier. Yeah. Right. So, uh, this, this evolve them here. So, what we're going to do now is, um, let's have to turn this on the side here. When they fall out, all most of them fall out, so <clears throat> but they was already marked already, right? So it's it always good that when you're pulling out your valve, them always mark them so you're gonna. But these valves was marked because you take them out before, right? Um, so where you're watching for, you see how thick this valve is here. Um, this valve good, you don't want to get a valve with a sharp edge. So when you get it with a sharp edge, the way you see my fingernail is, is that when you grind it now, it gets so thin that when you start it could burn because the end real thin and you know with the thinness and the heat, it will burn, it will get real hot. So um, so what we have here, we have um, three, three exhaust valve, Four exhaust. right, and three exhaust valve and one, it's three valve carry. This is two exhaust. exhaust and one intake. 
Now, if you look at this um, intake, so thin this intake is, I'm going to have to change this because by the time I grind this, it'll get too thin and it can overheat and burn. So we do want that. Now, if you watch here, you can see, well, uh, no, no scratch it, but if you watch there, you'll see a mark. Yeah, I make two, two mark. And if you watch here, it's number two cylinder from the front. Right? So what I do, I mark two in this here. And I also mark two in the, well, you, you know, you have to mark three in one. <coughs> and four in the next. And four in the next one because you don't want to interchange them. Right? So, um, we'll roll up there and then we'll continue the other we'll, part. I'm going to see the valve seat. Yeah, okay. The valve seat's looking good. Yeah. No problem. All right. You see, it is the shining part you see in there. Is the part the valve yeah. where you grind the valve against? Right. So what has happened when you grind the valve? This is the exhaust port. This is the intake. The intake bigger than the exhaust. This have two exhausts. I have noted this the um the seat here. So this valve here, when you grind out, this is what you're grinding on this. But when you grind the valve, that's why you mark them. You don't want to interchange them. Wherever you mark it for, and you use it in that spot and grind. If you interchange it, each one of them grind to suit the spot yeah. there was in. So you don't want to interchange them because you could get a miss when you start. So, um, so that's that how we... Um, the seat's not looking bad. Yeah, the seat's not looking bad here. Um, you see a little rust and thing there, but that's how the valve, the head was out. With the valve open on one side, you know, and we had it outside for a few days. Right? But all that um we'll correct all that. If you look at the port on them, see this the the water port them. The oxy, uh, right? Oxy. Yeah. So you you want to make sure that this port eat away because sometimes the port depends on the um <coughs> chemical or let me say you use water, water like hard water pipe water instead of coolant yeah right it sometimes it eat out this here aluminum and it come to the edge here and with the combustion now you could keep losing water you could lose water but and, burn water and you could overheat. also uh, yeah you will have overheating and what i go on to is that the water will keep keep seeping seeping through and filling up the cylinder along it have a, a way here right so um, you want to make sure that you check all that and also you're looking at the oil the oil port for the head which is this one here you want to make sure that um, this clear before you put up your head because you have a other adapter piece on the cylinder it go in here and when it go in here what it happens it have a oil seal to seal off because it, orange seal. yeah orange seal Right, so this is where um, you don't want anything coming here and block, right? And also you had the drain off, you know, in the drain off of the engine, which is this section, and then you could see. Right, this is the injector um, port, with the injector spray. True. This engine, this head do not have a combustion chamber. Combustion chambers is in the cylinder. Right, so um, we'll continue on there and um, do that. By that he means this head is a flat head. But to have no sinks within the, the um, cylinder area. Right, just flat. Okay, well. This is the intake. Um, the intake manifold. Yeah, the intake manifold port. Um, at the same time, before we go, um, what I want to um, let you guys know is that when you have to take off this head, you have to take off the injector then from in this port here. Right? You have to take out these injectors then because you would not get these bolts here to come off. So when these inject injectors come off, then you will get these bolts here to screw out. So you always remember you have to take off this injector them when you're taking off the head this is the intake port and on this side we have the exhaust exhaust 
an exhaust port with not looking too bad but all this was back pressure that he was getting from the engine which we believe he was um inferior parts you see it mark wl so these are turbo head and it doesn't matter the non-turbo is the same head mostly this does be the difference yeah this here should be the difference the turbo head is carry this because you have this line distributing water to your um, turbo the turbo the non-turbo will just have a elbow here you don't have this piece right so um this is what it look like um for now you see anything else um you should um say you know but at the same time you want to make sure that when you've done this head you watch and check everything everything in this head so the next part will be the grinding part <coughs> Okay, here we have the head going to be washed and this is the block it came out from. As you can see, WL, this here is the combustion chamber that we spoke of. The injector injects the diesel in this spot here and also this is a BB block. You notice there you see BB that means it's a a billet block one big piece of billet steel is used we'll check over the timing when the head is going up a final and that's about it One more thing before I forget. This is the oil pot that he showed you on the head. Notice the rubber seal here. This goes to the head. The seal is to prevent leakage so that you get a high pressure to the head. If the seal is bad, you won't get the pressure of oil flowing to the head. <laughs> 